Okay, what character are we going to see today on this one? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so attacking, but it's not a major, it's not a confusing attack. It's a pretty straightforward attack, I believe. So we'll just steadily way defend. Maybe the next two moves, have a look, see what character this person is, and then maybe we can offer some type of defense. So two knights are out, so I'll go with safe, safe. So if they're playing safe, safe, they don't want to deal with anything that's unusual. They don't want to feel, uh, they don't want to deal with any tension. They don't want to deal with any complications. This is like safe, steady away type chess. Yeah, so they understand that obliterating the center is safe for them. Capturing here is normal. Knight takes, we come here. So this is all pretty safe play. Queens come down because they know that the knight can't take. So now they're going into clever zone. Now they think they're a magician. So we need to show them that we understand the tricks of the trade. But their base system is safeness so we need to put a bit of quirk in there ourselves so that's how i'm going to treat this game i need to quirk it up show them that i know that know the little slide tactics but with them trying to mix up slide tactics with quirk that will mess up their safe structure that they're wanting to actually have yeah that's a nice one again all these magic tricks that he's got you go here then obviously he takes the pawn here so we're going to show him we know these tricks let's just bring this bishop here keep showing them and if he's looking to exchange off the knight with the queen for the rook then fair enough so again showing him that we know the tricks of the trade this player is a safe player they're not really comfortable with this type of thing because I mean this attack has got no legs so what is the knight doing there now they're going to have to go back get safe after they've gone and castled so it's almost like they're attempting to be an attacking player when they're a, a safe player acting as a wizard with a few tricks up the sleeves but positionally doesn't look too hefty for them at the minute Yeah. Okay, so a small piece attacking a higher piece. What's this knight really doing? He needs to get back into his safe zone. Now he's struggling, especially with this pawn move here. Doesn't really know what to actually do. Because he's focused so much on this pawn, it's unreal. He wants this queen to take this pawn. So he's spending a lot of time trying to get this uh, maneuver off so what do we want we said we want to put a bit of quirk in to upset their rhythm could push here but we lose a pawn he can take we take his knight takes we lose the pawn so we're not going to do that just yet could bring the rook here just to face off the pawn face off the king that seems like a doable situation could bring this rook here He's probably looking for a sly queen to come here type situation. Yeah. Which one's the best? We could push the pawn and just keep pushing. So to show we understand their working mechanisms, let's just push the pawn. We could bring our queen here just to look then to see. Well, maybe not there while the knight is there. longer process but something to consider so now they've almost gone to a dead stop now they've got to look at being safe their, their methodology is safeness and move the queen again <sighs> yeah, yeah. so the magic has gone He's gone away from attacking this pawn now for some strange reason. So obviously they're looking here, aren't they? 
somehow they're looking there with that green move if the pawn drops down there's gaps down here could look to press on to the knight but it's not the pawn will take is he looking to come this way to come this way all seems a bit long doesn't it Hmm. <laughs> where's my quirk do like this pawn being here because it's stopping the knight from getting activated here do you know I'm actually going to bring the queen here and still follow this line until such time as he moves <laughs> obviously the bishop can come here and he moved there dead quick so he had something set up which is the knight potentially attacking the pawn here or potentially coming no 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 well he's not going to take the pawn and lose that is he so he's blocking the passageway anyway for the diagonal and he's covering off this square both twice could bring the bishop here and if the knight takes pawn takes and then we're aiming towards this square again like we said maybe with the queen coming up he does still have the bishop coming here and obviously he's got this pawn that can open up and then the queen's coming across here so that might be what they're planning we've been here before yep yeah. and with the pawn if the king comes up pawn drops down because his queen's got to check on the king all that type of situation as well so we've been here before now we know the trick the magician's trick he's not even gone and castled yet so maybe we want to pay, make him pay the price okay so the bishop's taking the pawn here if we push on to the knight where's he going really it's come there bishop takes well, it's got three on one there so that won't be too good for us either so how do we circumvent could go there but again it's not good we've been here before pawn pushes down with a check and then wins my knight basically could push the pawn up circumventing all of that thought process going to push the pawn up showing them that I know the magic trick that they're trying to put in place not saying it's the answer type thing because he could always just start ramping these pawns down so it's going to open up space around my king so I need to get my pieces repositioned mm. it's very warm any attacks on the queen at the minute because Mr. Safe is playing a very uncomfortable game for themselves but they're trying to make it comfortable it's not castled yet at all so we should be able to do something surely at some point um, so when the bishop takes if the pawn takes then the queen takes is on me so I need to bring my knight here to get some more protection on the pawn as far as I can see then it's got activations here with the knight but we can take So we've got like a one, two, three, three on there. He's attacking one. Like I said, this pawn's probably coming here. He's attempting to do the answer process. He's you know he's pushing forward, which is the whole idea. Got space to come here. Let's just take this. I don't want to lose too much sleep over thinking that type of thing. Let's come here now. need to get my pieces of you know be able to protect my king area still focused on this secretly as well but hey if it comes it comes could have gone there because I've got an x-ray through as well with the bishop I think the bishop's going to come here first and I've got to be careful because then his knight can go anywhere because he's got to check on my bishop my queen Yeah, so I could, I could move the queen now. I 
could move it to here and it's still got the x-ray through to his rook if I move the bishop now then his knight can go anywhere so it could come to attack the bishop but then I could take it with the queen so he could come back but he's not going to go back there is he he could come here but then I can take it so let's go with the bishop x-raying through to a higher piece the knight can come and attack it like we said the queen can take it or else it go what's whoa, what happened what happened he's attacking a pawn so he has a two on one protection because if we take then the bishop takes this little rook here waiting to put a check on his king because he's not castled I'm going to do that while I'm thinking I'm not saying it's winning but it's always quite nice to have a little talk with yourself before you make a move sometimes because it gives you time to have a look around the board okay so so on the pawn here, am I going to lose, to, have I got a better, he's looking for maybe a rook exchange, it's on a white square, our knight can't get to his king, pawn could push on to the queen but then he'll just take the pawn. Can I go here but no, I've got nothing supporting, go here, taking myself off of the pin still targeting this pawn <laughs> I need to give it up don't I have that one or can I just take this just take and then the bishop takes but then he's got that lovely diagonal himself hasn't he I don't think we really want to give him that if we go here yeah okay let's go here take ourselves off the pin protecting the pawn maybe doubling up but I think he might go for a rook exchange let's go with that bishop's taken so bishop's in the fire so I'll just bring this rook here again do we or do we attack the queen do we have a moment to attack their queen um, doesn't look like it but we do have, we can, no, because he's still going to have the double. Let's bring the rook here, try and own this file. It's got pieces there, so it's not really owning the file. My poor knight, really want to get it back into the game. Mm. Is there a sacrifice afoot? Because his rook is stuck in the corner. He can't actually castle, so this rook is out of the game for a bit. Still chomping at the bit for this baby, but we'll see. See if my knight could get in the game. It could cause some serious trouble. And we do have this here with a check type situation. He might block that off with his bishop. So if we can get that in with a check. Yeah, so if we can get this in with a check, his bishop probably comes and protects or maybe just moves to the side. And then we can push on to the queen, but then he's gonna take our pop. Oh, it's all changed. It's all changed. It's gonna have an isolated pawn. So we take, he takes. Isolated pawn. There's not much I can do about it, though, is there? 
could come and put a check but then he just drops the pawn but then we take the pawn here and then we're getting closer towards this pawn aren't we sounds like a plan maybe not exchange on this moment because now he's not on the white pawn this um, pawn here for now yeah, it's all right. Yeah. So he's still got protection around his king area. We seem to be ending up on our original focal point around this point here. It's moved so we can take, but do I lose out? Do I lose out now? Uh, taking looks alright to me. It's nothing worse than just hiding my king in a place I can't do anything with this stuff. Let's take it. This king's hiding. I'm on a white square. And his knight is protecting that square. So if I take here, and then his bishop takes, then I could bring my queen here, but then his queen could just take. And he's still on this horrible diagonal. I don't really like it. I don't know if it's powerful or not, though. So I... Ooh, let's have a look at this. Two on one on there. We could drop here, couldn't we? His queen could always drop back. Or he could just move his bishop out of the way. <laughs> so that might be a waste. But if he moves the bishop out of the way, then we can take the pawn here. For in my mind, it must be, it feels like the key pawn. But we need to see. So he's, got, he's done a virtual castling. I'm only plus one, you know. After all of this jostling around, I'm only plus one. So, still got to box clever. It's, uh... So really, I mean, I've got a knight that's not in the game. I've got a bishop that really isn't in it. Although I do have a check on his king. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't want his bishop to have this diagonal or his queen to have this diagon diagonal. So it feels like it's a... Uh condensing me in without me actually doing anything so I'm expecting this anyway we might just do that oh he's brought the queen down Brought the queen down, so he's only got the king protecting this now. So if we took the knight, then the bishop takes. Then we take his queen. Then he takes our queen. No, because my knight's all jammed in. I'll never get my knight in the game. If my rook takes, then his queen takes the rook. And then he's a rook up. There has to be something. I need to get my knight in the game. If I push here to be able to get the knight in and start moving up. Uh, I think that's the way to go. I think what I'm what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go here, then he's gonna move his bishop for the queen exchange. Is, is there anything wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with that? I go here just to try and get my knight ready and rearing. He moves the bishop. I take his queen. I don't have to take his queen. I can take a pawn. 
I don't want to get too fancy though, you see, you know, grabbing a pawn just to grab a pawn. So take the queen, he takes our queen. Bring the knight in. Looks a bit looks a bit risky, don't it? I might take the pawn. Let's just push. I might take one of the pawns rather than taking the queen. Yeah. It looks kind of too too much to his advantage if I keep the bishop, the rook and the knight on for some strange reason. So this to here. Can't move his knight yet. Come closer in for some reason. The bishop can attack the rook. Just continue with the knight move then, coming up here. So I'm really not sure what that rook move was. And the king, oh, he's taking himself off the line, so now we could take. Or we can develop. And where's this knight looking to go? Let's see where this knight wanting to go. Attacking our queen. So let's look tempo wise. If I go here and then if he then comes to attack our queen, he's blocking our rook. Yeah, he's blocking the rook so. I can't do that. Yes, okay. But if we take the knight now, the bishop takes, queen takes, rook takes. Bishop has that diagonal, but I don't feel too worried now because the knight is in the game. Knight can come and attack it. It's going to look to basically maybe not can't come there. We'll have to go back. I feel happy about taking that knight now. Is there anything else? I mean, the queen has this pawn here. If I'm looking at greedy munching, but I don't want to set myself up. Plus one. So I think that's the way to go. Just taking the knight now. All his pieces seem to be at the back, so we're going to get the queen. We're plus one. Although we don't need to take the queen, do we? We could take. He takes. Take another pawn. It's just we didn't want him to have this diagonal with the bishop. We take another pawn, queen is here, our rook's here. Knight would be attacking the bishop. <laughs> take. Just take. Let's go with the mantra. Nice and steady away. Don't be too fancy. Keep it simple. He does take. Now, do we take a pawn or do we take the queen? Take the queen. Just simple. attack the bishop because if the rook comes here we get a check on the king anyway he does as well oh my life we get a check on the king so we win the rook oh my word I didn't expect that and we win the rook probably going to resign now wow that was beautiful 
and they've left the game so they've got counting down the seconds this will be the last one for tonight it's so warm here and we'll claim victory there cheers that was a really exciting game um, good build up towards the end and it's really good to talk it through as well just to have a look at um, the potential for your move movements and just go back to the beginning try to establish the character of the player as you're going through to try and understand the makeup of them and with this one here we did say that they they were a safe type player but then they started mixing it up with being a magician and mixing up those sort of styles is a little bit weird because then as we saw he hadn't gone back to safety mode and continued as a magician but really um, there was no legs there was no foundation you can tell by the position of the pieces they're not supporting each other they knew how to attack but their base system from the way that they opened was more of a safe style so he should have well i think he should have castled you know got his king safe that was the sort of style that he initially came out with but he changed it during the game because either he saw openings that i didn't see you know um, especially this particular situation here because we're mindful of the power of those sort of attacks they can be quite disruptive so they continued with that so we showed them the tricks we showed them the magic that they were attempting to um, deliver and magicians don't like their tricks being shown so this upset them even more and they hadn't gone and castle hadn't protected their pieces so we could m mobilize our pieces into better position showing them their magic trick each time showing them that we know what they're attempting to do but adding a little bit of pressure now taking advantage of a weakness which is a simple thing of keeping their king safe so from that moment on we we did have sites of attacking this particular area here and it worked out that we ended up around that area which is quite good so look for the exchange ordinarily i would wipe it off the board you know it would be an isolated pawn but we're trying to practice and advance our game so it's probably better for us not to do that we can grab a pawn improve our position on the board look to get the knight out little things like that looking at these extra things that can help build your attack because yes I have my queen here, I've got my rook there, but I can't do anything with them by themselves. I have to build these pieces together. And then looking at the style and the behavior of the opponent, um, this is like a safe player who has not found safety in terms of, damn, I've not worked my pieces together, my magic tricks haven't worked, this guy's shown the world my magic tricks, so what is it can I do? And we're basically saying, well, you've shown everything, you've shown your whole hand, so now it's our turn to show our hand. King move, trying to get away from the pin. That pin was there forever and a day. So then we could capture, move order now, capture, and then the knight comes through. He didn't have to attack the, the knight, but we did actually talk it through. It says if they do come here, we do have the check. So that's what made us make the decision to actually attack the bishop because if we didn't have that check on the king his rook would just have a pin on our knight probably would have to rely on the pawn supporting luckily we've got this pawn here because if he then pushed down we'd be able to capture so in any any event it would have been okay for us in that sense but have to be mindful of where you're placing your pieces and it was lucky that we we got this winning tempo and obviously we're winning the Rook. So, nice game.